Grieving families in several central Minnesota communities are now feeling another sense of loss. Earlier this month, dozens of vases were taken from headstones at cemeteries in Little Falls and Uppsala in Morrison County. John Lordson talked with one caretaker about why his cemetery has suddenly become a target. I, I don't know them, but I know the Ring family. But a lot of these people belong to St. Mary's. Uh, Easter morning was our dad, and two days before Christmas was our mom. In 2016, Mary Barnes lost both of her parents. Since then, she's been a frequent visitor to St. Mary's Catholic Cemetery in Little Falls. They were very patriotic. They belong both to VFW and Legion. But this visit isn't just about paying respect. It's about making sure her parents' graves are being respected. It is sad to damage a graves. I mean, isn't there something else they can do? Yeah, what if it was your family member? So far, Mary and her family are lucky. Earlier this month, thieves made off with more than two dozen vases from grave sites around the cemetery. So there's a total of 25 of these bronze vases that were stolen, and the flowers were just strewn all over the ground. Some were broken off, and the contents were thrown out. Others were easily unscrewed. But even though they came from different plots, all the vases had something in common. You know, it's like 85% copper. So, and I don't know what value that is, but the value of the vases when you buy them brand new, they're, they're several hundred dollars. Meaning about $5,000 worth of vases were taken. But he says most recycling companies won't take copper urns or vases because they fear they were stolen. Still, it's not the monetary value, but the sentimental value he's worried about. Yeah, it up upsets me that somebody would have and evade somebody's property like this. It's, a, yeah, it's definitely a sentimental thing. So you can't put a value on that. This yard light hasn't worked in three years, but since this happened, it's been replaced for better lighting. And Buddy plans on putting in trail cameras around the cemetery in case the thieves come back. In Little Falls, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News.